Welcome to Good Mythical More. I consider myself frugal, discerning with my dough, but some people might call me um, a cheapskate at times. No, nobody would do that. I do think that there are tightwad is what we would say. Places where you should spend your money and places where you should cheap out. Even when it comes to like romantic situations. Oh. Et cetera. Uh, is your wife watching today's more? No, Stevie is going to present two options and we have to decide which one is worth spending on and which one is worth cheaping out on. All right? Okay, but first, let's check our voicemail. Link, is your hair a style choice or are you just getting old? Would really like to know. Uh, let you handle this one on your own. Is my hair a style choice or am I just getting old? Mm. Uh, I'm gonna say C, all of the above. Okay, all right, good answer. Good answer, good answer, you know, good answer. You know who I uh, saw just, on I'm just TikTok being myself, look at this. The other day. This is my hair. Speaking of uh, style it. choice or um, getting old. Steve uh, Martin? No. Anderson uh, Cooper. J.C. Chazé, is that how you say his last name? Chazé? Yep, J.C. Chazé. The, the, the lead, arguably the lead of NSYNC, uh, he is now on TikTok and man, a full gray, full gray beard, full gray hair. It was, uh, but like also like oh, stuck guy. in time, but it just like his hair was gray. He like didn't look older, just like yeah, g- gray. And it's longer. He's get, he's got the beard. It's uh, the, the picture I'm seeing is like a dirty gray. It's like, it's like if my entire hair was just like yeah. this part. Yeah. Or under certain unflattering lighting. Shout out to you, Good for him. He look, it, you know, he looks you no look different good. except for the color of his hair. Look good. Um, okay. Give me Two the Two scenarios. Options. Which one would you cheap out on? Uh, would you rather skimp on a pee-pee piercing? <laughs> or... No, I would not. LASIK eye surgery. Oh, God. Oh, come oh. on. Can I just... I, I Can I opt out of both? Does the pee pee piercing have to come out every time you pee pee? No. I feel like that you couldn't function that way. Like think like isn't think it about that isn't it like it. a bathtub stopper? That's not how it works. Why? No one would ever. Well, no, okay, someone, but most people who are already in the category of people who would get pee pee piercings would not get them if that was the case. You gotta. Re- it's, it's it's yeah. It's like removing like the plug. Unscrewing that thing every single time. <laughs> well, okay, think about the scenarios. Are, are we saying that you are either going to go to like a piercer, like a back alley piercer or a like back alley doctor? Right. I, I think that is kind of what we're saying because the other option would be like a Groupon or something, which is not, not wow. part of the and game. You're thinking about I, the worst no, case scenario. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we should talk about the back alley version. I think it, this is the Groupon version. It has to be. So in that instance, well, what's it's just the implication a of the? Uh, yeah, but you could say if it was at a discount, that the the doctor and the piercer are equally talented, and you just are getting a group on. Which no, no, I'm saying yeah, it's the kind of place that like d- there's a spare no expense, and there's the take the cheap way out. You don't yeah. want to lose your eyesight. It's a place that gives discounts. Like a certain place, there's certain places that just they don't give discounts, right? Like you can't get a coupon to. Gucci, right? Like, I don't know. I've never been in there, but I'm assuming that that's not how it works. No clue. I don't know. Because it kind of goes against the philosophy of it. A, a gooch on, I think is what. Uh, man, yeah. so if things go is. sideways, and I literally mean if like the laser goes sideways or like they do it sideways in your pee pee. Um, Apparently, if you have a pee pee piercing, it does go sideways. Okay. And you have to sit down. Well, then what if it goes up and down? Then I think you do. I mean, what's the worst oh, that can happen? Oh, you have to sit down because it spreads the pee out. Yeah. Oh, you do? But you know what? It's, this is about the procedure. This is not about the aftercare. You know, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is that like you could eventually take out the pee pee piercing, right. but you have to go through the pee pee piercing. So think about like pee pee piercing going bad or LASIK going bad. But it's LASIK is like, it's, it's just like, it's outpatient. I mean, once they explained to me what it was, I was like, I'm not doing but, that. But if, but if it goes bad, 
if LASIK goes bad, what ends up happening is you have this yeah. horrible sensation in your eyes constantly that you can't get rid of. That's bad. All right, yeah, I'd, I'd rather for my so, wiener to be, I don't know. I think at this stage in life, your wiener can look a little bit weird. It's not that big of a deal. They're, they're, I mean, Assuming they're both so important sensation. to me. They're both so important to me. The chances of a cheap LASIK messing up both eyes, though, I mean, last time I checked, I only have one wiener. But you got two balls. And two eyes, is what I'm saying. I'd rather have, I'd rather have one ball and two wieners, <laughs> at this point. That's not a question I wanted is to Is that answer. what you're asking, Stevie? <laughs> how many wieners do you want? No, how, I have two no, eyes. If I that. gave you the choice between one wiener and two balls, which I assume you currently have, and two wieners and one ball, and I could press a button and it would, you would, a magic wiener genie would show up and he would give you a second wiener of equal or greater value to the current wiener. Up to 30% I, more. Would wiener genie is actually where they offer the Groupon for the... <laughs> Wienergenie.com. I'm, I'm, I'm cheaping out. <laughs> it I'm, probably already exists, Stevie. I'm cheaping out on the LASIK. I have two eyes, I only have one wiener. It's that simple. Uh, I'm cheaping out on the uh, PP surgery. PP okay, surgery. Um, okay. Would you skimp out? Skimp on <laughs> your wife's birthday gift or all the time? No. Anniversary gift. Oh crap! Christy's birthday is May thirteenth, and our anniversary is May twenty seventh. I every year I choose. If I if I, if I mess up a birthday, I really got to come through with uh, anniversary. And if I come through for a birthday, the pressure's off for the anniversary. The that's that's off. how I felt about it because they're so close together. Um, anniversary is more of like something that like it's more like trip oriented for us, and uh, birthday is more gift oriented. So they're kind of different things. But what if so? Would you skimp on the trip or would you skimp on the gift? Because like which ones? I'm going one? on the trip too. Keep that in mind. And mm, we both like trips more than gifts. But but what if the gift is a trip? That's a trip. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Um, I think I would. I think I would skimp on the birthday gift because which is like, does one have more weight? Like, would Christy be ah, more pissed if I know what it is? Yeah. Well, first of all, she's she's just a lovely person. I mean, she does. Let's it. just establish that first. She. She she responds in every situation with and nothing she, but grace, and she never complains. Um, I've never heard her complain once. The birthday is she get she can get gifts from other people, but re, she really only gets the anniversary gift from me. So there you have it. Well, I have kind of the opposite problem because my wife's birthday is a week before Christmas. So, and people who have their birthday right before Christmas are very, and my mom also does. They're very sensitive to like, you can't do things like give them birth, birthday gifts wrapped in Christmas paper. Yeah, like a two for one deal. Because it's just like, don't, just, giver. Don't, wrap, don't move me into Christmas territory. Yeah, yeah so, that's tough. There are times, and then, because the anniversary, this is another way of kind of saying what you were getting at, the anniversary is a collective celebration. It is about us, it is that's not right. about her, Right, it isn't just about what the man's gonna do for the woman. That's right, it goes in, both in the ways. relationship. And so we get each other anniversary gifts, and usually it is a trip, and we say the trip is a gift to us. So I think that there's, if if, the, if we fall short on anniversary, it's like we're falling short. Mm -hmm. But if I fall short on the birthday, it's all on me. Ah. So I am prioritizing the birthday over the anniversary. So okay. I'm cheaping out on, I'm getting a Groupon, trip for my anniversary. We're going to the Groupon headquarters to see how they make all those coupons. <laughs> so do you get like, I mean, that's a good point that like, I feel, I feel like trips or like really nice dinners kind of take the place of a classic gift in both of these situations. But do you tend to like mm. get a, like give me an example of like a gift. like. You know what I mean? Like, are you talking like a jewelry situation? Yeah, I yeah have, sometimes it's jewel jewelry. Yeah, I've, I've I've hit some home runs with jewelry, 
Yeah, Christy, uh, Christy likes a nice ring. But it's because it's like, you know, Jessie will do like, she'll do like weird, big things that like, oh, this is this ring and this stone on it was like some person in New York bought a mine and is mining this very particular type of quartz. There's like some sort of like, you know, it isn't necessarily like super expensive. It just has like a story behind it and it's sort of like big and raw or something like that. She likes that kind of thing. Big it, and raw. At least like in the last few years. Big and raw. I call it big and raw birthday time. <laughs> That's what I call my anniversary time. Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, so yeah, but th those are mostly the gifts that I've gotten her in the past few years. I don't remember the gifts I've gotten Christy. I've gotten her other things. She doesn't Sure, either, sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So you're split. You're split on both these things. Uh, a babysitter or a pet sitter? Huh. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, this is babysitter. It, isn't this pretty? I mean, I think you got to skimp on the the pet sitter. I mean, I think that you know, as a as a father of both people and dogs, right? Um, while the dogs are sometimes easier uh more responsive uh seem to be more into me than the people are uh, i have every reason from a personal perspective to prioritize the pets over the people huh. uh, but i think that it would be it wouldn't be morally right i have to prioritize humanity over the animal kingdom well what's the practical application we're talking here because this this can't be groupon um, so is it like well, it's you a teen neighbor? Yeah, t we're talking teen neighbor, you know, the old, I don't even know what the price is for that anymore are. We haven't had a babysitter in so long. I mean, I think in, I what mean, that, we, 10, 15 bucks an we hour? have like a teen neighbor, but then we put the dog in a, in a, in a, a cage free place that's actually called a resort, pet resort. Yeah. Yeah. So I, in, I practice, think in practice, yeah. we are skimping on the, yeah. on the children because it's, and we're not sending the kids away for like weeks at a like a whole week at a time while while we go on vacation. Wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, to do that maybe sometimes. And I I've never well in the place that we send the dogs, you send Barbara there too. Mm -hmm. Um it has like webcams. You can like Yeah, you can look spy at, on them. You can spy on the dogs and see how they're being treated. You have got to pay for that. And I've I've but when there's a babysitter at my house, like we have webcams in our house too to make sure that like the the kids are there and they're not being neglected. But if well, they go you, to the babysitter, you, do you tell the babysitter this? Yeah, they're out in the open. They're not like they're out teddy the bears. They're out in the open. You got a surveillance state at your house. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I kind of make it. I try to do that for a few months and then felt weird. My wife was just like, we just we can't like we have too many people stay with us and, and we have a lot of people come to our house and like stay there while we're gone on a regular basis and like she was like we can't like we can't have cameras on that on those people so but, we but then when something funny happens you can't that's the best use you that's, have that's my it. real own, one of your family members like busses their butt on something in the kitchen well you got it on tape yeah send it right to afe that's what link does <laughs> yeah that's link's long-term business plan is winning that ten thousand dollar prize on afe that's right. How's That's that, what I'm how's that looking. Speaking of winning a prize, I want to remind you uh, there's only a few days left to enter our Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway. Um, you could be you could randomly win one of three unique prizes. Oh yeah. Um, by grabbing the official T-shirt at mythical.com. So the the T-shirt of Mythicality, uh, you'll get it in silver. But if when you open that box. It turns out that logo is an iridescent aqua oh, wow. or an iridescent rose oh. or the granddaddy of them all, the golden tea. There's only one of each of those three colors. If you get one of those, woo, you've struck it. Now, if you strike gold, that's the grand prize. You're gonna be flown out. You and a friend are gonna be flown out right here to LA. You're gonna win an all expenses paid trip to our studio. We're gonna you're gonna hang out with us. You're hang gonna enjoy a mythical kitchen dinner prepared by mythical chef Josh and the Kitchen Ears. What? We're gonna put you up in a nice glitzy Hollywood hotel, and Ooh. we're gonna give you a, a few more surprises. Uh huh. If you get the Aqua Tea, that means you win the Mega Beast Pass to Mythicon. You and a friend can go to that this October, including airfare and hotel. You can also you up? receive an autographed Mythicon poster, limited edition merchandise, and more. What's the rose tea get? I like to call that rose. That's just my personal right, take on that. If you win the rose tea, you win a virtual taste test with 
yours truly and yours truly. Our, Both of us. We truly. Yeah. Check out mythical.com to enter the 2022 Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway for a chance to win one of these incredible prize packages. No purchase necessary, void were prohibited. Visit mythical.com now for details. Yes. <laughs> All right, here's a here's an everyday scenario. Toilet paper oh, or gosh. paper towels. To, uh, skimp on the paper towels because it's not rubbing your anus. <laughs> yeah, the t the a bad TP experience. In fact, try not to buy paper towels. When Jesse and I were, uh, you know, we in were, general, we were basically trapped in a hotel room with, you know, COVID like months ago. Um, this was not. It was a. It was an okay hotel, but they had made. You know when a hotel makes a really skimpy decision on the TP and they yes. do like Ooh. the single ply and it's a little Ooh. bit sandpapery and it's also like That's a bad. dingleberry factory down there. Ooh, rat. Uh, ooh, rat. <laughs> say such, say, don't say such things. I'm just like, whenever dudes talk about down there, I'm just always so confused about the wiping situation. Like, why does it get that bad? Like, it just, it sounds nightmarish beyond the, the wiener of it all, which you know I don't like. I'm What's talking the about... The back there area, yeah, yeah, like yeah. how do you? Listen, I don't know. I just don't listen, understand. I don't know the evolutionary reason for it, Stevie. <laughs> but males have not copious amounts of hair, so you don't know what you're getting into down there. It's like hiding. <sighs> I'm sorry, Stevie. I just want you to know that I, when I wipe my butt, I don't have to wipe the back of my balls. <laughs> Unless, unless it's been a very memorable session. I've never had to do that. I mean, I'm just talking about like maybe once in a lifetime. Yeah, I'm talking like a, uh, there's no water in the toilet and you got diarrhea. You never know what's gonna happen, is what I'm saying. I'm not gonna like, say it, it can't happen. Like a, you're an abandoned house. But like. No plumbing and you've got diarrhea. At that point, you never know what's gonna get splashed around, man. It's just one of those. I mean, if you if you don't have it and you're thinking about it, I didn't know if you would if you've ever thought about it that way. But I just wanted to put your mind at ease. I mean, it just you... seems like there's a situation happening uh, that's not great. Well, uh, if the toilet paper is is fine, it's not an issue. And also, this is why. I personally choose the bidet when I'm given the opportunity. Well, to. exactly. You talk about how great the bidet is, you know, that it's like, you know, li life changing. Yeah. So it's just like, oh, it must be really, really bad without a bidet. Like, I just. It's only totally worse. But with the right toilet paper, it's not. It's not all bad. It's not. I, I just. <sighs> Let's let's talk about this over lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. While you're eating cocoa puffs. <laughs> I'm just saying, let's have a dingleberry conversation while you're eating cocoa puffs. Yes, you do. That's what I was. That's right. the. That's yeah, what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. because cocoa puffs look a little bit I'm like dingleberry. I'm grossed out. That'd be a big dingleberry. Head over to mythical.com to order your golden tea of mythicality for a chance to win one of these incredible experiences before it's too late.